Push notifications are a direct channel for news and media publishers to reach out to their subscribers. With the right timing and messaging, they can drive anywhere from 5 to 15% of their subscribers to their website. If you too are looking to bring back subscribers to your site, here are some of the best practices I've learned so far. Point number one, timing and relevance. Now in the news industry, timing is crucial. For urgent news, it is crucial to send the notification when it's fresh and relevant. For a publisher catering to the business niche, it would be crucial to push out a notification about the drop in the market index as it happens to drive audiences to act. If the news isn't urgent, find the time when your subscribers are most active. Use that time to send push notifications to your subscribers. Point number two, get them to act. A sure way to get users to interact with a push notification is to create a sense of urgency or FOMO. However, do keep in mind that this works best for urgent developments, such as a major policy change or drastic weather change and so on. Don't create urgency too often, else your subscribers will stop valuing these updates. For example, if the government announces a price hike for fuel, you can create a sense of urgency by pushing out a notification with the messaging, find out how much you'll need to pay for fuel, post the price hike. This is sure to generate curiosity and urge most of your subscribers to visit your website to get more information. Point number three, personalization. Targeting your push notification to the right audience is crucial. Most push notification providers offer the option to segment your audience using tags. By doing this, you can send sport news to sport fans, entertainment updates to movie buffs. Well, it's all about matching interests. This is a sure way to drive traffic from the right audience. I've also made a video on the best push notification providers. I'll add a link in the description and in the i button. Do check it out. Point number four, use notifications wisely for new content. As a news publisher, you probably push around 30 articles a day, and I'm sure larger newsrooms push out close to 100 articles a day. In such cases, sending a push notification every time an article is published would be a disaster. Keep readers updated for high priority updates, such as an exclusive interview with a renowned personality. Now that can spike interest instantly. Point number five, location-based notifications for local news. Imagine this scenario, you're based out of Delhi, and I send you a notification of road closures in Mumbai. It's a completely different state. Would you click on that notification? I'm sure you would ignore it. Hence, using location-based targeting becomes important. Relevant news sent to the right audience is sure to get high CTRs and drive traffic, especially for real-time events. Point number six, use the show latest feature. Now I know this is a no-brainer. Some push notification providers have a show latest feature. What this does is it overrides all the older push notifications and shows only the most recent one. So for example, if you're covering a cricket match, when you send score updates, the show latest feature only keeps the most recent notification visible to the subscriber, sparing them the hassle of dealing with multiple of your notifications. Point number seven, rich content. Rich content in the form of a gripping thumbnail or a catchy GIF can help grab audience attention and result in higher CTRs. Let me show you an example. I'm sure in this example, the image on the right grabbed your attention first. And you know what that means, more traffic and engagement. So these were some of the best push notification practices I've learned over the years. Want to know more? Subscribe and stay tuned.